Hey guys, Samuel Dunn III here with you from Mason's Career Services. Today we're talking about dun, 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 networking. <laughs> now, I know the concept of networking can seem a bit intimidating, but I promise, it's not as half as bad as you think it is. When I first started hearing the word networking being thrown around, all I could think about was having to talk to a bunch of strangers and the fear that I'd just be bothering them. But when it comes down to it, networking is really just about getting to know totally normal people. We have a special treat for y'all today. Some crucial info straight from the source. This is Beth Yingling, Chief People Officer and Head of HR at Apple Federal Credit Union. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Samuel. So, many of the students we've talked to are reluctant to network. Why should they absolutely be making it a part of their job search strategy? I understand how it can be intimidating to think about networking, per se. At Apple Federal Credit Union, we fill over 100 positions every year, and for each of those positions, there are dozens and dozens of applicants. And if we know of someone other than just their name on their resume through word of mouth or some type of networking, that is going to increase the likelihood of us looking at their resume and giving that person a call. So you're saying that having someone refer your resume is a great way to have it stand out? That's right, that's right. That really helps our hiring managers and our recruiters because that means that that person already has a stamp of validation from somebody that we trust, one of our employees or someone that we know. And that means that that person is more than just a name on the resume. Our employee is not gonna put themselves on the line by recommending someone that's gonna make them look bad. Right, finally, what advice can you give students who still need a bit of a push to start networking? Don't be afraid of networking. It's really just talking to people that you meet. Talk to people who are already in jobs that interest you because they can tell you how they got into that field and they can also maybe open doors someplace where they have worked or are working now. So um, just get out there and, and you know talk to people about you. Thank you so much for your expertise and insight. You're very welcome. Good luck, everyone. Well, guys, I hope you've learned something new from our special guests. Hopefully you're feeling more ready than ever to get out there. Still feeling nervous? Here's a few more career service tips to help you get on your way. If you're worried about being awkward, write and practice saying your personal pitch out loud before meeting with your employers so you'll be able to introduce yourself with confidence and come up with a few questions you can ask. Also a plus, because asking questions means you have to talk less. Listening for what you have in common or listening for a great piece of advice is an essential networking skill. Try volunteering at an organization related to your career interests. Along with potentially giving you a leg up, this is a natural way to make yourself visible to the right people without having to go to the formal networking events. More than 70% of job opportunities never even get posted. They're filled through various forms of networking. So get out there, join a student organization, and meet some new people. Or start talking about your career goals with your professors, friends, or extended family. You never know who might be able to connect you with a job, internship, or contact at your dream company. For more information about networking, download our Career Readiness Guide on the Career Services website. And be sure to check out the rest of our career readiness videos as well. Till next time!